Hello guys, I don't know what to say though. Uh, I'm in Lahore, Pakistan right now at my house. I came from Islamabad around 10 days ago. Uh, I've been writing, reading books and writing articles for the newspapers. As a matter of fact, I wrote an article on mental illness which got published in the Nation newspaper of Pakistan. Uh, after that, I've been writing many more uh, articles, but those idiots have not been publishing them. I don't know why. Anyways, so as you guys know, I'm not well. I have schizophrenia and obsessive compulsive disorder. I hear voices. I have compulsions wherever I go and all that bullshit. And uh, I've been on medication since several years, but I don't know what to do and I don't know what to do I don't know what will happen to me I go through hell literally someone told me that someone evil has done black magic on you this might sound ridiculous talking about black magic but I think there is something like black magic I was talking to someone a couple of months ago and they said that someone has done black magic on you and there are professional people in different places who are qualified to do such stuff and they are paid money to do black magic on people and ruin people's lives and uh, someone has done black magic on me as you know if you've seen my videos I hear voices and have compulsions to do things again and again uh, if it was a mental illness it would have been fixed by medication but it's been more than 16 years that I've had this problem since August 2007 and things are not getting fixed. So obviously it's black magic. Someone evil has done black magic on me out of jealousy. Seriously, that's true. Now what pleasure does someone get out of ruining someone's life? I mean 16 years of my life has been ruined because of this mental illness I have. Now, I don't know what to say or do though. I love reading books and I want to become a writer. Yeah. And this illness has just ruined everything, guys. I wa don't want to live in Pakistan. I want to live in the United States of America. I wanted to live in Canada, Toronto, but the problem with Canada is that more than half of the time it's snowing there, so there's no fun being there since it's snowing mo mo most of the time so it's no fun being in Canada guys uh, America is much better the three states of America who, which are interesting are Florida, Texas and California I want to live in New York City or Washington DC since Christopher Hitchens, Christopher Eric Hitchens the writer I like wa lived in Washington DC as well so I want to live in the United States of America and live a peaceful life there, become a writer, meet all my favorite authors, publish my book, have a house with hundreds of books in it and stuff like that. That's what I want to do. I want to become a writer and the world's best writer. And yeah, that's what we had to talk about in this video, guys. I still miss the heart of Thailand. I miss the streets of Bangkok. I miss the nightclubs of Cambodia, I miss the streets of New York City, I miss the beaches of Hawaii, I miss the bookshops of Canada, I miss all that stuff. Now we have been sent here to rot and to suffer from God. Basically we have been sent here by God to rot, suffer and get screwed. I mean uh, life is just too miserable. And the sufferings are not going to end. What interests me the most is God, the life after death, and aliens and unidentified flying objects which are the UFOs. I want to be abducted by aliens and go abroad uh, ships, aircrafts, uh, and sh uh, ships, and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, in my whole life, I have only read more than around 360 books compared to people who read thousands, you know. 
so i want to live in the united states of america and live a peaceful life there and become a writer and sell 500 million copies as much as harry potter although i don't like harry potter because it's too overrated but that's how much i want to sell guys anyways i love to read books and i love to remember what i read in books i also like to eat and i'm obese fat and stuff like that i'm in lahore pakistan right now which is the city of my birth although islamabad is my home city i might have to shift to lahore pakistan due to different reasons which i don't want to talk about right now <sighs> yes i want to go to some of the most outrageous places on earth like uganda rwanda and sierra leone i want to go to sierra leone because of the movie blood diamond uganda because of another reason and rwanda because of the movie hotel rwanda and another book based on it i do not want to live in pakistan because there is no freedom of speech there's religious intolerance and there's shit going on everywhere i want to live in some western country you know yeah i become really happy when people publish my articles in the newspapers they publish such stupid stuff and they do not publish my stuff it's so annoying and irritating that they don't publish what i write i write about human rights women's rights minority rights human rights abuses and all that stuff i cover all kinds of topics in my articles and writings but they don't publish some of what i write in the last 3 to 4 months i must have written at least 55 to 60 articles hardly 20 got published and the other ones are not getting published which is very annoying every day i go search for my name and go to news on google and see if my articles are published or not but they don't get published i don't know why i still miss the far east I love the Far East as a matter of fact. I like in Malaysia where I've been twice, Cambodia once, uh Singapore once and Thailand 14 times. Actually, I just can't get enough of Bangkok Thailand. But the other country which I visited in 2004 for the Olympics in 2004 was Athens, Greece. Greece is just lovely, especially the Piraeus area or whatever it's called and Athens, Greece. I just want to lie on the Mediterranean and listen to music and chill in Athens, Greece on the beach. Anyways, bye guys. Hope to see you again in the video. That's all I had to say though.